Your entire life has been art, no? When I was an altar boy and I'm like, you know, always like with my, you know, poking out to a camera, wherever it was. My one brother said he never knew who I was gonna be the next day. <laughs> He's like, what? Hi, I'm Pepe Serna, and I'm on the show When Zay Zay Met. And today is When Zay Zay Met Me. I am Zay Zay and welcome to When Zay Zay Met. Now today we're meeting with an iconic Latino actor who's been in over a hundred films. Uh, you've seen him play roles in Car Wash, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, Red Dawn, and of course Scarface. The list goes on and on and on. The documentary and book about his extraordinary life so far is called Life is Art and he truly shows how in his case art it is. Party people, Show your love for the triple threat icon, the Tex icon, the Mex icon, and the Amer icon, Pepe Cerda. How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> I am. If I was any better, there'd have to be two of me. <laughs> so good to see you today, man. So beautiful, colorful. Uh, you're in your home, right? I, yeah. I'm told that this is how your house right? looks. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my kitchen back there and my dining room over there, the fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> so good yeah. to see you. So good to see you, man. Now, um, let's take it back, if you don't mind, to the beginning. Uh, um, I, I loved the documentary. The book is beautiful. Um, you are uh, from Corpus Christi, Texas, correct? Yeah, right. And I understand your family says that even from the young age of two, three, four years old, you were already acting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> performing. Anything to, to get a, a laugh or a little bit of an applause. <laughs> <laughs> so for you, it's not just all life is, I mean, your entire life has been art, no? Yeah, yeah, every, I mean, going back and I get pictures from my family and stuff when I was an altar boy and I'm like, you know, always like, with my, you know, poking out to a camera, wherever it was, and I didn't realize it because I was doing it, right? You can't see yourself. But in retrospect, like my family that was there was like my one brother said he never knew who I was going to be the next day. And I, I was like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Already yeah. mugging, man. So so you knew from a, from a very early age that that your life, not just that life is art, but in your case, your life had to be art you had to perform for people you had to you were always kind of chasing um not just the spotlight but that reaction what what do you think it was about entertaining people that fed your soul is that i was going off of what somebody else was giving me to entertain them okay it was a moment and i'm just like just now <laughs> I, I just thought of that, even though that's just been the thing through improv is that it's not what I have to present here. I'm going to sing. I'm going to, it's like, what, what did I get from you to, to make this feeling happen? You know, right. and I'm going to try and make a joke out of whatever you say, or make it, make life a little easier because mine has been so great. I mean, my, uh, I was a barker at the Moroccan Pavilion in 1965. And so to go from Texas to New York and go to the World's Fair and meet people from all over the world, which you guys in New York, you, I mean, that's, you just look, you just look next to you and every, the whole world is right there. Yeah. Right in the middle of it. Yeah. And for me, I stepped into that world and it was, I wasn't surprised or anything, it was just, I could just react off of what was going on. When I saw the Moroccan man walking down the street holding hands, and they said, no, that's the culture. That's just the culture. Right. And cultures have, they, they live differently right. than the way we're brought up. So that is like, hey, we're all different. And what is it about, about you, you know, and the way you're sitting there, very professorial and, and looked like a, a, a professor, you know, that I would have 
in, in college and say, wow. And then, and then like a professor that just smiled, right? Then, oh, as a student, boom, I'm in. I'm right. in because it's not, because it's not a professor that's with a scowl on his face saying, oh, what is this dummy going to ask me now? Or, you know, <laughs> what is he going to answer? So it's always about that. How, how to, how to bring life, you know, that we come from our culture, you know, Latino culture, but everyone is different. I mean, we all have, it's all different. And for us, we're Latinos, but you were born here in the United States, right? Yeah. Yeah. You were. Mm -hmm. So we're Americans first. Right. That's what America doesn't understand is, yeah, yeah, we're, you know, we're brown, white, black, you know, we're everything, everything. Yeah. Every, every, all the cultures are in the Latino culture. Yeah. And it's about what we know, though, as Latinos is having that. The way people look at us sometimes and treat us is a, hey, that's we don't we're not going to take it personal because that's something that that's coming from them. That's not that has nothing to do with me. So yeah. I'm going to just buff it off. And so how do I do that in life and, and in every character I play and the way I walk around and I do a lot of motivational work is like, you know what? Just smile, man. Yeah. You, you can bring somebody out of the doldrums, out of, if you just walk around in a smile, it's a lot different than if you, somebody looks at you and you're like, you know, deep into your own, whatever, wherever you are, but they're going to take it personal because they're looking at it and say, oh, are they looking at me? You know, I mean, you automatically think that. So anyway, yeah. it's about positivity for me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, in 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 everything you just said right there, right now, it it, it moves me ahead even in my questioning because I realized there that uh, one of your dear friends and uh, obviously an appear of yours and another uh, Latino uh, entertainment icon uh, Edward James almost calls you the king of improvisation uh, and it and it just kind of, you just kind of proved it right there uh, you've been in a king of improv all your life it's almost like that's that's how you began at two at three years old is just following the path of improvisation looking for the yes and in everything yes. right looking for the yes and in everything from yes. okay how's this person going to react to me okay how can I feed off of this person's reaction to me yeah. he's smiling okay so how can i go off of that and though this person is maybe frowning how can i go off of that you know carnival barker okay how can i do this at the world's fair how can i do that even pre studying it as a craft that's amazing yeah yeah <laughs> it, it, it is in the yes and not a lot of people know about that that terminology but because most people are yes but yeah but this is the way i want to do it this is the way I'm, I'm in charge here. It's, this is my, you know, no, man. It's just, yes, and is you can still do your own butt, but you don't yeah. have to be a butt about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Man, you went, you went to Los Angeles and, uh, and I mean, obviously that was the beginning of, of an amazing career climb. Um, do you remember your first check that you got for acting, for actually doing your your passion you remember the first check you got yeah it was great because uh I, when i got here i came here with a to, to california with a hundred bucks that my mother always borrowed to give me to go and then she had to pay back 110 dollars to her <laughs> friend who was a, a lender right and but but i was money never i i could live and then i met my wife the second day in hollywood so Six months later, she came to a improv workshop, a performance I was doing. She invited me over for a drink, and I never left. Uh, and she supported me. So that first check was great that I could come and 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 give her the money uh, because she had been supporting me the whole time, and 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 she's uh, got the every check since because my dad and men in, in all cultures uh, oftentimes control the money. And I, I, and I knew as a kid, I said, wait, mother's the one who's uh, buying the groceries. She's the one taking care of us. So 
I, I had that sensibility about why she doesn't know about, you know, the paying the bills and stuff because my dad's in charge of that. And, and that I knew that that wasn't right. I mean, I was born a feminist because I don't know how everybody isn't born a feminist. We all come <laughs> right. from our mothers. Right. You know? And how, how, did, how, how has it taken so long for the world to, and now it's a big thing. Now they're, oh no, they're women, women, you know, all the, all the negative stuff when they're the ones who have been there Right. The, and they're the ones who are taking us to the next level. Right. It's the woman producers, the Eva Longoria, the Gloria Calderon Kelly, it's the America. All, all of them that have had, that have come in. I, I did two series with Jennifer Lopez. And she did, you know, her thing is, is a, everybody's different, you know, so how, how she runs her life and how she takes care of, of the, her culture is the way she does it. Uh, I'm, more akin to, to the way that Eva and, and Gloria and others that are, you know, they they weren't as big a star right off as Jennifer was. So that's that's the whole, that's the horse of a different color to, to have that kind of fame. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's people, oh, that's what they want. Oh, everybody wants to be rich and famous, but man, that's the worst thing that can happen to anybody. That's the worst drug there is uh, because you really buy into that and then you start treating people accordingly because wait no i'm i i gotta protect myself i gotta you know gotta put all these barriers between you and and the public and even if the public happens to be your own family <laughs> mm. right and right. you've seen it you know especially that's the thing about being from new york is that you're born to the men are born you know you know how the world is because you see every culture is in your neighborhood <laughs> and yeah. you see how every culture is different. And, and I've always admired that about New Yorkers. Oh, they're wrapping me up. Okay, Mr. Sedna, do me a favor, 30 seconds. Tell me why life is art. Life is art because uh, in my case, is because uh, I have a, an art director always with me, my wife who points stuff out. I came to be just an actor, and then she made me a visual artist, and then all these colors. And to wake up, to wake up every morning to these colors, I better have a smile on my face or there's something wrong with me, you know? Uh, and that's what I wear and, and, and show it off and, and do it in my performances. How do I add all these colors to it? How do I actually use color bright? And, and, or, or, or red and I see I just went over the top but no you can it's got to come from within and use that uh, to motivate you oh man it's so much fun that's my favorite thing about uh, doing workshops and stuff is getting kids to go from A to Z without even realizing what they're doing because we all have it we, we all are improvisers from the day we're born that's all we're doing all of it we don't you don't know how I'm gonna answer so then you don't know what question you're going to ask me next. I mean, you do because you've done your research and you know, but you're open to, okay, boom, there's, he just opened another door. So let's go in it together. Pepe said, and I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you for being with us today. You are amazing. And I can truly say that my life is art and has an extra exclamation point at the end because you we're in it today. I appreciate you, man, so Thank much. Thank you. Keep in touch. Please, in for touch. sure. Next time you come through, let's keep in touch, and we got to get together. Continued success, man. We'll talk soon. Thank you all so much for watching When Zay Zay Met. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload more conversations with celebrities and other interesting people. Now, if you'd like to see your favorite celebrity on the show, it's simple. Just tell us who that is by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you on the next one. Hasta la próxima. Lo quiero del corazón.